Yo, what's going on everyone? We're back from here bringing out the NBA 2K22 video. In today's video, we are going to be doing a Gallinari and Malcolm Brogdon to the Boston Celtics rebuild. And if you're new to the channel, guys, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and let's hop into this rebuild. So the Celtics have had a quietly really good offseason, and they went out and got Malcolm Brogdon. And this was the trade. They pretty much threw in, and also, they also threw in, um, it was uh, Juwan Morgan and um, Nick Stauskas, but their contracts are expired, and Malik Fitz. But they're all expired, so we can't throw them in there. So hopefully they do this trade. And they're not. Mm, I should have just turned trade over right on. Maybe if I throw in some seconds, they'll do it. I just kind of want to get it done with. And uh, they're not. Um, so I'm going to have to turn trade over right on to get this trade done, sadly. So let's go over. I should have done this before, but I guess I wasn't ready. But I hope you're having a good 4th of July. As you all have seen this, today is 4th of July. And uh, I really hope you'll have a really good 4th of July. And let me know in the comment section what y'all do for the 4th of July and stuff. But while, while we're doing this, um, I'm going to go over something of my channel. So since like we're doing rebuilds and fragrances hitting and all that, after all the fragrances stuff is done, I think I'm going to start doing like 100 point challenges if that's something that interests y'all. I could do like let's players do 100 point challenges and stuff and maybe bring it back. I haven't done before so i mean i've done before a long time ago but i don't know if it really works or not so let me know in the comment section if that's something that y'all want to see um i believe gallinari is still on the hawks if i'm not mistaken so and i'm pretty sure we don't have any cap so i mean we're gonna have to get gallinari somehow but we're gonna have to give up somebody which you can't give up anybody right now so um Like all these players are expired, we don't have anyone to trade, so we're gonna have to wait to get Gallinari until the off season's over, I think. The qualifying offer will give all these guys a qualifying offer. And honestly, I really, I really do like the way this team is. This team isn't bad at all, but we don't have any money. We could go out and get somebody just to put in the Gallinari trade. Um, but to him resign with this team, I'm not gonna sign anyone that re already resigned with their team. Like Whiteside didn't resign. Uh, Blake Griffin was still out there. But they don't really need Blake Griffin, but we can just give him this offer and maybe he'll accept it. So we do get Blake Griffin and um, they'll probably end up signing a couple more players for us. And then we can go and get Gallinari and then we'll see what they could do with Malcolm Brogdon and Gallinari. I do think this is a really good trade for them. They did want Malcolm Brogdon to be the sixth man and come off the bench along with he did go down a bit, but he is going to be going um he's go is going to be going along with uh gallinari off the bench i think that's a really good solid unit with Derek white as well like having Derek white on that team uh on off the bench with malcolm brogdon like two great they're not malcolm brogdon's a great two-way player and Derek white's a good two-way player he just Derek white needs to find his offense man before everything happened Derek white was really good but let's go and get danilo gallinari for this team and i'm probably just going to trade sedaransky and blake griffin just to go get gallinari i mean i should have just done this to begin with he's a 76 which makes sense um so i i don't need a first round pick um i mean i guess i'll just do this james johnson and we'll just overwrite it so next we're going we're going to turn this off now let's turn all this off stefan roll on no off financial on and trade over it off so right now this team is solid like can this team go out and win a chip of course um we're supposed to be starting marcus smart at point guard i believe he is the point guard yeah so marcus smart's gonna be starting that point guard for us and i kind of want al horford is cool where he's at uh, jason tatum and Jalen brown should get a little more minutes Malcolm Brogdon will give 27 minutes to Derek White can get 22. Richard can get like 18. And then Gallinari is going to get 14. And Grant Williams should be getting a little more. But I do um I do think uh Malcolm Brogdon is going to make this team a lot better. And just for the sake of it, we're going to do the points per game preference. It's going to be Malcolm Brogdon's definitely going to be the third option for this team. So let's go out and see if Malcolm Brogdon and Gallinari can help this team go out and uh, win a chip into the first season and it's not bad man like um we did get the four seed in the conference which was kind of a downfall and i mean uh, i don't think anyone made a team i didn't really see um jason tatum made the nba first team and um robert i thought that was robert williams Rudy Gobert got traded i didn't do all the trades for the for the um for this league yet my bad i can't even talk 
but let's go see what they average man i'm very curious to see what the whole team averaged so malcolm brogdon led us with 16 points and they didn't lead us but he was a third score with 16 points four rebounds four assists shot 46 percent from the field and 34 percent from the three and he averaged pretty much a steal a game almost and then Jalen brown and uh, jason tatum were the lean scores of course and then here's the rest if you want to pause and look after them three it re there really wasn't much scoring like it was all right i guess but um where's galinari like galinari did he not play oh, he's right here i'm blind he had six points I was, i'm blind man he had six points shot 38 percent from the field 31 percent from the three that's really awful i'm not gonna lie but we are taking on the bucks in the first round we get past milwaukee and we actually oh man i <laughs> I honestly thought we were going to sweep Milwaukee, but we ended up getting past them in seven. They came back. Jason Tatum dropped 40 in a closeout game. Um, where is Malcolm Brogdon? Only six points, three of nine shooting. Gallinari had eight points. They both shot three and nine from the field. And for the playoffs, though, he's averaging 17 points, four, pretty much five and five. That's not bad. And Gallinari's averaging six, seven points. He's shooting a lot better from the field, though, 45. 46%, 45 from the three-point line. That's a lot better. Can we get past uh, the Raptors? We should get past the Raptors on. As I say that, we blow another 3-0 lead, man. Like, Jesus, man. Uh, Malcolm Brogdon kind of disappeared again. Didn't really go. And Gallinari did the same. So I'm going to go one more season because they're going to get old. And I just want to see how this really goes out. So I'm very curious to see how this team will win it, man. Like, I, I really do like this team. And um, I really think in real life, this team will be a top three seed. Like, no doubt they'll be a top three seed, man. Like, yeah, there's a Sixers, but you don't know what the net is, the Nets are going to do and all that. So let's go to, uh, I don't even think we have a pick. So let's go to the, let's just go to rookie signings. I'm sure we don't have any picks because we gave it to the, we gave it to the um, Pacers in that trade. But we have this guy who could stay overseas and this guy. And we'll bring uh, Pritchard back. I think I said his name right, Peyton. And then Grant Williams, I do want to bring back, yes. And then I think we got to resign Gallinari. And we do got to resign, uh, yeah, we got to resign Gallo, which I'll give him the minimum if he takes it. And then Grant Williams, I do want to bring back. And I'm not sure about this guy, so we'll just leave him. So Gallo and uh, Grant Williams do accept, which works for me. And is there any player we could sign for like the low, low? We only really got 5 million, which isn't a lot, but um i could bring kimba back i don't think they want kimba back uh i might go with pat bev i do like his defense i mean he, him and him and uh mark smart are going to get into hella fights probably if they were on the same team i would i wouldn't believe it they would get into hella fights if they were on the same team but here's the team mark smart went down i know patrick beverly went down we still got blake griffin galinari went down but on the bright side um malcolm brogdon did not, malcolm brogdon did not go down and uh this is gonna be the last season like i said it's gonna be a quick little rebuild let me know what y'all's take is on malcolm brogdon and i think for this one we are gonna start malcolm brogdon just i know they say he's a six man but i want him to start this one um we'll make him the point guard and it's gonna be brogdon i want him to get around 30 minutes man um derek white's a six man could get 26 pritchard can get 22 mark smart will give 20 beverly and gallo that'll round out the rotation which isn't bad it's not really bad at all gallo's going to get nine minutes we'll give 30 and then we'll give 29 to uh robert williams al horford i guess retired because he's not here i just realized that uh al horford retired dang but grant williams could help carry the load is it still the same um I think I want to make Malcolm Brogdon the second go-to score and just see how he does as the second go-to score. So let's see if Malcolm Brogdon and uh, Gallo can help a little with his nine minute point, <laughs> with his nine minutes a game, man. Since Tatum won uh, the MVP, he averaged 33 points, eight rebounds, five assists. I'll show y'all, man. Y'all really can't see it, but we we should have been the second seed, man. Um, we I mean we were the second seed. We should have been the first seed. Jason Tatum uh, made the All NBA first team, All NBA second team. No one made it, and All NBA third team. No one made it for us. I'm gonna miss DeJounte. We miss you, man. Um, and no one made the all-defensive team. So uh, we are taking on. We don't even know who we're taking on actually, but we were like go back and forth with the Cavs. If we look at the NBA standings, yeah, we were one game from the Cavs. That's crazy. And if we look at the stats and uh, the season stats and player stats, Jason Tatum, as you saw, won the MVP. Had 31 points, 
uh, eight rebounds, five assists, have one steal a game, shot 51% from the field and 44% from the three point line. That's ridiculous, man. And then Jalen Brown had 25 and two for us and Malcolm Brogdon had 16, four and five, shot 44% from the field and 33% from the three point line. And Gallinari, what did Gallinari do in nine minutes? Four points, no, nothing too special. Shot terrible from the three point line. Uh, his three is probably like low, it's at 80 now. So let's see what we take on in the first round. We take on Malcolm Brogdon's former team, the Pacers. We should get past the Pacers pretty easily. As I say that, they take a game on us, but we did we did get past them taking on the Magic, who beat Brooklyn. Uh, Malcolm Brogdon, 10.7. He's kind of he's kind of uh, choking in the playoffs. I'm not gonna lie, man. Um, oh, we almost lost to the Magic. Jesus, man. Um, Malcolm Brogdon, he's not really doing much in the playoffs, man. Like I like Malcolm Brogdon, but he's just not really providing much scoring right now. Um, what is his stats looking like? Um, 16 points pretty much, more assists, shooting terrible from the three-point line, uh, terrible from the field. So, uh, let's see, man. Can we get past the Celtics? We won game one, simulate round. Oh. Simulate through game? Dang, man. Um, Malcolm Brogdon, 7 to 13 is not bad, but the four turnovers is pretty bad. Um... He went up to 16 points. His three-point percentage was still terrible. His field goal percentage got a lot better. But it is what it is. Uh, Jalen Brown choked in this series. Jesus. 3 of 14. But let me know what y'all think about this. Let me know what y'all's take is on this uh, Malcolm Brogdon and Gallinari signing. I know y'all traded for Malcolm Brogdon, but signed Gallinari in free agency because the Spurs let him go. Let me know what y'all's take is. And I hope you have a good 4th of July, like I said. And I'm out. Peace.